Hey, Ryan. Good to see you. Hey, Dr. Burks. Here for 33 questions. I know you're a busy man, so let's get right to it. In 10 words or less, can you describe your job here at Harding? Well, I would say it's encouraging everyone to connect their heart and mind with God. I think that's close. Yeah. Would you like to come on in? We can visit some more where it's a little bit warmer. That's great, thanks. What year did you come when you started working here? 1967. Where's your favorite place to go on campus? Uh, Cone Chapel. Well, this is a beautiful house. And I know you're a busy guy, so uh, let's get right to it. What do you immediately start doing or thinking about when you get up? Well, the first thing I do every morning is walk on the treadmill for 30 minutes. I've been doing that for a long time. Will you spell camaraderie for me? Camaraderie, C-A-M-A-R-A-D-E-R-I-E, -E, with an exclamation point. What's the importance of that word to you? I've used that word for a long time to describe the Harding experience where relationships are built with faculty and with students and particularly with God, which are really deep and important. Do you have any hidden talents? Well, a surprising one might be that in high school I played drums and a dance band. What would you say makes you feel most accomplished? Completing a task that I am trying to get done makes me feel good. What is the best thing that happened to you last year? Best thing was uh, the birth of a great grandson, Lincoln. What is the best thing that happened to you this week? Well, this week we saw the wedding of my grandson, Weston, to Holly. What is the best thing that happened to you today? Today would be seeing you come by oh, to visit. Well, thank you. What is the best thing ever? Best thing ever would be my making the decision a long time ago to come to Harding. And uh, that's where I really found the, my relationship with God. It's where I met Leah. It's where I made a lot of friends. And it's really changed my life forever. Tea or coffee? Oh, coffee. How do you prefer it? Oh, now with cream and sugar. Would you like a cup? I'd be glad to share one with you. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Good. Who do you admire most in the world? Jim Bill McIntyre. What's your biggest fear? A loss of freedom. Kittens or puppies? Uh, puppies, of course. What is one skill you wish you had that you don't have now? Oh, it would be the ability to communicate better. Uh, do you want cream or sugar, Ryan? Uh, just either way that you take it. Okay. Uh, I'll put some cream in it then. Thanks, I appreciate it. Out of everywhere you've gone, what is the farthest place you've ever traveled? That would be uh, Australia or New Zealand. What fatter trend do you hope comes back? Oh, thanks. Uh, when I was in high school, the trend was for all of us to wear Levi's and have a flat top and wear penny loafers. I'd love to see that come back. What's something special about where you grew up? Well, where I grew up in New Mexico, it was really hot, but at night it always cooled off. And I love that aspect of it being cool at night. So that was, that was fun. Huh. Do you live by any piece of the device or motto? Well, I don't have a particular motto, but I would say that uh, I've always tried to do my best and tried to encourage others to do their best. And I think that's, that's a good piece of advice. What did you want to be when you were a kid? An architect. I noticed this cabinet full of bisons. Tell me the story behind these. Well, these are bison that we've collected as we've traveled to different countries in the world. There's one here from Venice, several from Africa, others from Florence, and even from Arizona and in different places in the United States. Nice. And what about the rings? The rings are championship rings from different sports, football and basketball at Hardy. How can someone earn your trust? Uh, by being authentic and being completely open about who they are. How can someone lose your trust? Well, really pretty much the opposite by simply not telling the truth. What motivates you to work hard? Uh, my dad. What is a wise piece of guidance you were given in college? Dr. Joe Pryor was dean of the college back then and he convinced me that I could do anything I wanted to do. Would you say you're a morning person or a night owl? 
Morning. How would you react if you found out that you were the star of The Truman Show? I wouldn't have any idea because I've never heard of it. <laughs> well, that's fair. What is one thing that excites you about the future? The ability to share the good news with more people all over the world because of technology and the advances that have been made. Well, I know you have a meeting coming up soon, so I'll get out of your way, but I've just got two more questions for you. All right. Well, glad you came by. Nice to visit with you. What would you say is your favorite scripture? My favorite scripture would be uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, about verse 14, where Paul talks about all of us being the aroma of Christ and uh, all of us being ministers of the new covenant and sharing the good news. Okay, final question. Why would you say Jesus matters to you? Well, Jesus matters to me. I learned that really deeply when I was a student here and it's taken on more meaning ever since because he showed me how to live if I would go about trying to follow his example. Uh, and then you watch him as he lived for us, then he died for us, was resurrected, you watch the ascension, and you know that he's at the right hand of God. That's the message I want every student at Harding to fully grasp. That's great. Well, that's all I've got, and I appreciate you uh, letting me come over. Well, I appreciate your coming. I hope you have a really good day, and best wishes to you.